Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Shapes IO. In this episode, we are going to level up the cutting, rotating, and stacking because we have reached 25,000, but we'll still need more. It's okay. Upgrade. Now, we need 60,000 of this before we can produce this one, which is this stacked on top of another complex shape like that. Production rate is kind of slow. So, we'll increase production rate first by supplying more resources. For example, red. Okay, it's been optimized. With the upgrade, we should get something better. We were supplying 50k an hour, now it's about 64, almost 65. We need to wait for the new supplies to reach before we can tell whether we do have some improvements. 69, let it stabilize a little bit more. 70 I think 70 thereabouts we're gonna have to wait a little bit for this to reach the next level so maybe I'll take this time to set up the next stage and what we need is square windmill square windmill so the bottom part is correct we just need to swap the top part if we were to cut it down the middle one has to stack again, the other has to rotate and stack. Let's set up a quad cutter system first, and then we'll shift it over. This is what we need. Yeah. So this system will work, and we'll have this system somewhere here. Yeah, it can be a compact system, so it'll be like this. And then this one can be supplied to here for stacking and then stacking, and that's good enough. Can I put it here like that? If it's higher above, I think it'd be better. Let's see. Bring this one here, so it comes out here, this is here, the stacking will be that this is the base, good, so it just has to be here, that's all, over here. Like that. Yeah, like this. It's fine, these can be adjusted. And we just need to set this up. So I'll set this up, I'll meet you back here in just a bit.
Wow, okay, it's finally done. I'm not optimizing it yet, but it's finally done. We have 60k now. <laughs> Took me some time, but this is no longer required. And we can update this circuit to supply the new shape now. So what I did was this design. This one comes in here, gets split up like that into four. Parts of it get stacked directly becomes this side the other one we need to rotate them so that they kind of swap position this is on top instead of here the square and yeah they just swap position and then we stack them back again and sent to here the green goes through in here the red goes through here through a little tunnel over here and this thing that took me some time is because i don't want these supplies over here these portion to suddenly be like idle not supplying anything because there's no shape coming in this one so what i did was i extended it out here so that it can continue supplying and then the rest just goes on as per normal so now let's do an update over here like that that's a base it stacks onto the base and this new shape is what we still need right yeah this is still the right shape and then just goes in here so let me update everything okay this supply will definitely clear up for now i'll have to optimize and add more supply and fix any problems such as these Unfortunately, with all these skips and whatnot, sending a red line down here won't be a very wise choice because there'll be tunnels everywhere. I should have built this better with a better tunnel, but now it's not possible to switch them. So what I'll do instead is everything, the red, green and the shape, all of them will come in from the left side. Okay. So I've somewhat optimized everything, somewhat, not a lot. That's because uh, these shapes coming in, still not a lot. The later parts of the factory, the supply is still kind of pathetic, but it's okay for now. I just want to highlight something over here. The reason why I distribute two times the shapes over here is because it supplies two systems. Over here, they have their individual supply for their dies. But the shape, no. No space to do that. If there's a lack of shapes, it's fine. But the lack of dies, um, that's not very good. Because the dies are easier to get. The shapes, not really. Really depends. Like, these shapes aren't easy to find anyway. So, eventually, the shapes supply should be the bottleneck. I think that's a good supply now. And we are clocking in about 67,000 per hour. It's probably gonna increase 72,000 per hour. There, there we have it. We still need another 40,000. So I think that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be able to upgrade this and finally upgrade everything because now they're all ready to move on to the next stage. And I think it's better that way. So we can have a rough estimation of how our factory performs because they're all on almost equal tier. Thanks for watching this episode. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.